just an update on this type of sponge filter and you can see where I've pulled this one out it was glued to the inside of one of the buckets um, I pulled this one out to have a good look at it you probably can't really see it all that well but what's happened was that inside the buckets there was a a lot of white powder from the perlite where I failed to wash it and it's managed to get stuck all in this area where the drain would have been now I've cured the problem by um, sticking a, a bamboo skewer up the, the drain hole and poking a few holes in this white scour and stuff the stuff just here but um, like I've also developed the, the technique a bit further so I'll just show you a yellow bucket where the, uh, the white powder started gluing things up this is, this is one of the yellow buckets that's got the, um, the original sponge filter still in it I'll just get down here and see if we can see you can, you can see up the top there that it's got a lot of white powder on the top of it but that white powder is also in the back here you can see all the white powder that's set like cement down the bottom of the bucket um, basically it is curable but to avoid the problem completely I came up with a, another variation on the filter system this is the, this is the current filter that I'm using um, you can see here it's got the, the super scourer glued to some normal old dishwasher sponge well in fact two dishwasher sponges now these are used as spaces to keep this away from the wall um, I've got a like a dummy fitting here um, that would be the um, the joint that fits into the, the middle of the thing and here you can see the um, the hole that I've drilled down the middle basically all I did was I used the um, these two bits of sponge on their own and I used the hole saw running in reverse and just drilled a hole through there and that fits onto the um, the joiner unit so I can use use it on half or if I've got a, a full one I can just press it in all the way because um, let's pull that back out again you can see that the, the depth is exactly one joiner so that's the um, current variation that I'm using. I'm actually using this on four buckets at the moment out of my um, 14. I'll just show you the, uh, the rig as, it's, um, as I've set it up. I probably should mention that um, I had one of these in uh, one of those five gallon buckets, the wide ones. Well, I've, I've actually had a series of them over there. But one bucket I put three feed lines into it and I ran um, water into it Okay. at triple the, the what's normal for a solid week and there was no sign of clogging in that um, in that filter like the um, the perlite dust seems to pass straight through it but the larger particles they don't get anywhere this is, this is my rig um, basically it's a, a double row and it's seven buckets long well I'll put seven buckets on each side I probably should have only put on six but uh, it's 2.4 metres long for those who know that that's 8 feet. Um, you can see the, the centre drain. It's like I've put different length drain connectors on them so I can stagger things around. That's the feed pipe just running along there. That's next, uh, it's actually taped to the, um, the drain pipe for a bit of support. On the end of the feed pipe I've got a purge valve so I can purge the system when I want. The uh, reservoir is down the end of this thing at the moment. Um, this this little thing along the top here that's just too uh, <coughs> at the moment it's still a bit cold here so um, at night I put a bit of plastic over it and just hold it down with clips. Um, I've got various methods of putting the, uh, the feeders in. And there I've got it on a, an elbow joint which just puts it in the side. This one's the same as Bobby's doing it where I was just stuck it in the, the top of the perlite. This one I've got running through the side of the bucket and pointing at this little Apollo. Um, that's uh, quick uh, quiet woods too put me onto that idea. Um, some of these I've got the original paint strainer filtering 
um, these four square buckets over here have got the original yellow and white filter in them. These four buckets here have got the new paint scourer uh, method. Like this one's got a uh, paint filter. That one's got the um, that one's got a, a super scourer in it. And the black buckets on the end. Um, what have they got in them? I can't remember what sort of filter. Oh. This one will have the double sponge on it, and not too sure what that one's got on it. It's got one of the uh, the types of filter. Um, While well, I think of it, this type of filter, you can see what happened with the the white powder. It really glued this type of scourer up. Uh, nothing much that I could do to unclog that one. So this one's bit in the dust. I might try the type again like the um, piece of PVC with the three holes in it with a bit of flywire um, taped around it or a couple of rubber bands or something like that. Anyhow, that, that's for the next time I do another setup. For the moment it can just sort of sit there and remind me. Anyhow, that's my Dutch bucket setup which is basically a test rig. Um, it's just trying out various things like I've got yellow buckets, I've got three gallon buckets I've got four buck gallon buckets that I've painted partially green. I've got some old printed buckets which are blue. I've got black, five gallon black buckets down here. Um, yeah, that's a five gallon black bucket. That's a, quite a tall one. Um, so, like I've got the, the whole range of stuff. We'll just see how it all goes.